We expect to see a lot of 4K and OLED at this year's show, but nothing could have prepared me for the sheer breadth of products on display from the LG stand. I'm joined now by Andy Mackay from LG. Andy, this is an incredible lineup. Please talk me through it. Well, I think it's our most exciting CES, Steve. There's no doubt about that. Yes, we've got lots of Icon TVs, uh, UHD, OLED, and even 4K OLED for the first time. So there's total breakthrough there. But of course, at the same time, we've got our new web operating system. So we've got a whole new smart TV range as well. So it's very exciting for us. OK, so starting with the 4K lineup, then what have we got to install for us in terms of 4K? Well, it seems only really just over a year ago, of course, we had our 84 inch. Now, that was a world's first when we launched uh, the 84 inch UHD product. But then, of course, since then, we've had the 55 inch and the 65 inch. They're on uh, sale right now in the UK and we're advertising those products. So here, we've actually got curved UHD for the first time. Uh, so we've launched our 105 inch product with uh, gallery sound, and I think you've seen that product just before. Um, but also here at the show, we've got the drama just announced minutes ago of 4K OLED with a flexible screen, a flexible curved screen. So, so this basically drama. gives you the option of having a flat OLED or a curved OLED, depending on your choice. That's right. So you have maybe just a smaller curve, or you have the ability flexibly to actually make the product even more immersive. Cool, cool. So that's really dramatic news. And there are quite a few. Uh, uh, different screen sizes for 4K OLED. I noticed some 55, 65. That's right, 55, 65, and 77 inch. So we've got more iconic TVs than we've ever had before. But at the same time, in the UK, we will be launching a whole new TV range, right down to LED with new designs. So basically, there's something for everybody here. And just to be clear, these are real products that are going to get launched in 2014. It's not vaporware or just. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the flexible product we've just shown is the most new and upcoming product. So that product could be following just a little bit behind. But all of the the other products you see here today are products which will be on sale not only in the States but in EU and in the UK during 2014. I noticed uh, one of the 4K TVs was a 49 inch screen size. That's right, now that's actually a really important product so basically a month ahead of the World Cup we'll expand our UHD platform and bring 4K um, into an area which is much more accessible to people, still in the jumbo screen size, but a 49-inch product, which we believe we're going to sell many thousands of, uh, and take UHD into a whole new area of a, ownership. A rough idea on pricing on that? <laughs> well, I think it's fair to say that product will sit under £2,000, so it will sit right on top of what is already seen as the premium LED market. So we're going to open our UHD range up to a lot more consumers. Definitely. I mean, like everybody else, we're very excited about 4K. Yeah. Obviously, you mentioned the World Cup coming up, but I mean, the big, big issue with 4K really up to this point has been getting content to watch on your 4K yes. TV. And what sort of stuff have LG got in line up in that sense? Well, one thing to remember, of course, with 4K products and UHD is you do have excellent upscaling from Blu-ray uh, Blu content. So we believe the upscaling gives you uh, in excess of 95% of the quality of a proper streamed 4K uh, picture. So we're very confident with the product we have, but of course, increasingly, we're going to have um, more content for these products, true 4K content. And um, very importantly here today, uh, Netflix uh, made an announcement that with LG, they will be streaming uh, 4K uh, movie content literally in the spring of this year, and that will be happening globally, UK and in America. Great. Big and, statement. And obviously you mentioned earlier about the 105 inch yeah. um, 4K LED LCD TV. Yeah curved 21 to 9 ratio. Interesting choice there. Any reason behind that? Well, I think it's a, it's a very different product and also different in the way we deliver the audio. So you'll have seen the gallery format, almost the screen format of how we deliver um, you know, the woofer and the overall audio to that product. So that's a significant launch for us. Just when we thought the huge screen was the 84 inch, we're here showing well, a... We're standing in front of it actually, actually and of you course, can see how big it is. Of course, and you can see here in terms of the gallery application on the audio right next to us here, yeah. Yeah, no, certainly, I mean, I, I was a little bit dubious when I first read about it, but having seen it in the flesh, the image quality, yeah. the sound quality as well, from yes. built-in Harman Kardon speakers, yeah. quite staggering. Truly Very immersive. And I think here the issue is not only is the visual immersive, the audio is as well. And these products, um, whether it's UHD, which we're looking at right here, or OLED, or 4K OLED, there's, uh, there's a lot more happening on LG's positioning as a true premium uh, TV brand.
And I know it's not really a popular subject anymore, but is, I take it Cinema 3D is still part of the lineup? Yes, it is. We've got a very unique 3D format, as you know, with the cinema style, no charge glasses. So we truly still believe in the way we deliver 3D, uniquely as a brand. Um, but at the same time, these products are, of course, smart TV products. So I do think at the show, for me, possibly the major statement is the web operating system, WebOS, because in that sense, it was only one year ago that we acquired WebOS from Hewlett Packard um, and previously seen on Palm products. That is genuinely all about making TV simple again, because many people have been confused, even bamboozled by the intricacy yeah. of smart TV. So I think in parallel to these very iconic products, having um, smart TV sugarcoated and delivered in a very intuitive way, I think a very graphic, intuitive and even simple way, is perhaps, for me, the showstopper yeah. here at CES. Well Andy, thank you very much and congratulations on an absolutely show-stopping stand. Thanks Steve. We look forward to the rest of the show. Thank you.